you guys? It's your girl Angela with the Aspiring Boss. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new here. Today's video is going to be a little bit different. I'm switching it up, you guys, and I feel like I've said that the last three videos. So today's video is sponsored by Wondershare Document Cloud, and I am going to be introducing their software that I've been using to help me run my life, okay? If you guys are not new here, if you guys have been following my journey, you know your girl is busy, okay? And I feel like I use the word busy so much, but it's just what it is, okay? You guys know I got lawyer life, which takes up a huge amount of my time. And then I have the nerve to be wanting to invest in real estate, invest in the stock market, help my fiance with his business. He's an entrepreneur. And it's just a lot, okay? But I enjoy it. I love the madness. It's me. So one thing that I really love about lawyer life is that I am able to have a document system that allows me to work with my counterparts and get things done and get things signed. So when Wondershare reached out to me, I realized, oh wow, this is a great opportunity. One of my 2020 goals is to get my life in order. Like I just mentioned, we have a lot going on. We have a lot of documents that we have to get signed. We have to review, comment, whatever between my fiance and I. And so I was just thinking about how we can get it all in one central place. Previously, we have been using Google Drive, but we both have a million Gmail accounts just for you know various things. And so it was getting mixed up. He will be looking for documents and couldn't find. I try to send something to someone and get signed and it was just a mess, okay? So when this opportunity came up, I could not pass up on it. So I've been using the free trial, you guys know. I'm all about the coin, okay? I gotta try stuff out before I sign up. And I'm pretty impressed. So I'm going to tell you guys a little bit about it. Let's jump right in. I'm gonna put my screen up so you guys can see as I maneuver the website and tell you a little bit more about Wondershare Document Cloud. Let's get it. Okay, so this is the website, pdfcloud.wondershare.com. And this is what you will see. So like I said, y'all know, y'all know, I like to try the free trials first. So you can try a free trial here and I'll have links to everything below. If you do like it, you can sign up and get 50% off using my link. And so, I, like I said, I'll link it below, but here's a free trial. Like I said, I've already been using the free trial, so let me go ahead and just sign into mine, okay? The two main features of the Wondershare Document Cloud are the cloud storage and the electronic signatures. Okay, so cloud storage is super, super important because this is where you can literally keep all of your documents. So here you can see that I've actually, you know, have been testing it out for y'all. I, I did want to test it out because one, I need it in my life, okay? But two, if I was going to be presenting it to y'all, I needed to know what was going on, okay? You know, we gotta make sure we do our investigations over here. I mean, come on, lawyer life. Oh, I did kind of put some dummy ones on here because I didn't want you guys in all of my business, okay? Like I, I give y'all, I think I give y'all enough of my business, okay? Okay, so here is the cloud, okay? And the cloud is important because you can keep your documents on here and you can allow other people to access them. So let's look at this you, this agreement. I love this agreement, it's a template, but I love it because it's land contract agreement. As you guys know, I'm a real estate investor. So the land contract, of course, let's just see what we can do here, right? So obviously you can view it, you can send for signature. So like I said, my fiance and I send a lot of things back and forth. I'll review things, have him send it, he'll have me sign things, I'll have him sign things that we have to send to third parties so this is a great way for me throughout the day he's a lot less accessible he's not at a computer sitting at a desk like I am so a lot of times I'll send him things and he'll have to e-sign on his phone which is great because this allows you to e-sign from any of your devices iPad phone laptop whatever so this is great for us because I have to send him documents to sign all the time and vice versa and we send a lot of documents to third party contracts I even have some of the contracts that we have for his business we send contracts, whether it be to the client, subcontractors or whatever, it's very, very helpful for our business. So I really like this cloud because it's just a central place for you to keep all your documents. Okay, so let's play with the land contract agreement. Okay, let's, let's view it. Okay, let's just see what you know what it looks like. Okay, so you have this land contract with somebody is selling land. Hopefully this will be me soon. Y'all already know I'm looking for another property. Um, here you can, so if someone sends you the contract, obviously you can download it to your computer, save it, send it, whatever, um, contract. Okay. So you can also bulk send. So like I said, a lot of times we have to send to a bunch of people. And so you can send the document to whatever email address. Um, so I love my subscribers at gmail.com okay because i love y'all okay so you can send it to anyone and if you also need to sign it 
you can have the option to sign first and sign last, which I think is great because a lot of times you send your document and then people don't send it back. No, I need to sign it, but you sign first, I'll sign last, whatever. But I love the fact that it will make sure you take care of it too because I think that's pretty great. And also you can add in a message. Um, I haven't done gone and done that, but you can add in a message. You can also add in your logo. I have a logo for Aspiring Boss, which I'm looking to change. So if any of my subscribers do branding, hit me up. Definitely need it. And then also, obviously, he has a logo. We don't have a logo for our property company, but we will. And so that's nice that you can use. And then also you type uh, in the subject. You know, it already gives you a good signature request. You know, it already gives you a good subject. That's great. And then you can put in here whatever you need to say, you know. Um, so I really, really, really like this feature and it's so easy, okay? It's so user friendly and that's the thing that I like about it the best because I don't have time for all the technology. I'm not a tech girl, okay? Okay, and another thing you'll notice here, like, okay, I have two of the same documents that are titled the same. That's confusing, right? So you can always go and rename the document as well, even though it's already been titled before you, like once you upload it. So don't worry about that. So I really, 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 really like this okay and the cool thing about this so if i send this out for signature it will tell me if it's waiting for my signature if it's waiting for other signature or if it's completed so you keep track of stuff that's the really cool thing about that i mean you know um depending on what your business is you might sign a contract a day you know what i mean so just knowing what you need to get on what someone else needs to get on and what's completed is great this is perfect for people like us where we really have a lot going on you guys and sometimes it is easy to get lost in the sauce okay it is easy to get lost in everything that's going on so something that could tell me hey you haven't done this get on it i love i freaking love it okay this is gonna really help us stick to our 2021 goals it is just being organized and staying organized and then one thing that i love this is important for us because we use a lot of templates okay one thing about lawyers is we don't start from scratch and and i will say you will find that within any kind of contract you sign for any business you're gonna find that although they might tweak it and make changes for different parties the base the structure is usually on a form contract that is just the way of life it will be so much to type up a new contract every single time one thing we do is we have templates for some of the things that we do right so i don't want to start from scratch every time i have a lease you know for a tenant there's going to be a form contract every time tyrone has a services agreement or something like that there is a form contract as my business grows within the aspiring boss every time i have something to send out i don't want to have to reinvent the wheel something as simple as invoices right i can make a template so i love that so here i would create the template we already have a few templates in here services agreement we use a template and then we make changes from there which is great now this is actually a document that we use within our business so i cannot share this with you but um yeah it, it is really great and you know same thing here i can say whatever i want i can send it to whoever i want in this situation it's usually me coordinating something in the sense where i'm coordinating for tyrone to sign and then also one of his clients to sign and so i wouldn't have myself sign but i would set the signing order still where i would have client sign then tyrone sign that's just that's just the way we like to do it with the leases i'll probably sign so it just really depends but i love the fact that if there is a document where both of us need to sign i can add myself add him and add anyone else. So I really, really like the e-signature feature and it feels a lot easier than what I'm used to seeing. I wanna walk you guys through the e-signature process because I really like it, it's really simple. So I love my subscribers at gmail.com. Okay, I'm not gonna put a logo, but I would if this was, you know, a real contract and I'll say land contract signature required. And I like to put that in my, that's just something I picked up from Lawyer Life where I like to, you know, let the client know or let the party know that this document is gonna need to be signed. I'll say, hello, attached is the land contract for your review. Oops, I'll review wrong, for your review. Once you've had, you have had a chance to take a look, please sign. Best, Angela. Okay, then we're gonna go next. Okay, so now, so now it's gonna say who I'm sending it to. And if I were signing as well, it would have added my name here and would have gave me the option to set fields for my own options as well. But I'm not signing this one because I'm just doing this for show. 
And then here I can type, I can literally tell them where I want things. So obviously I want the signatures. This is a real estate document, so there's obviously some extra signatures and stuff. If you're not a real estate attorney, don't worry about it. But um, like you can put where you want the signature, so I'll just put it here for good measure. And then obviously I want the date. And then, you know, I want the company name, if there's a company. Oh, so then it says sent successfully. Each signer will get an e email notification. Once they get that notification, they can sign there on the spot if they choose to. Okay, see, look, so I sent that to I love my subscribers at gmail.com and now they have one waiting and it tells you what's waiting and you can remind them and you know me I will remind okay um and you can just set it up to where you do a regular reminder until they sign because you know some people sometimes people forget so very very simple super easy and just very user friendly which is important for me like I said, I'm not a techie, y'all, and I need something that's going to be quick, easy, fast, and also efficient. And so I'll say, I really think this is great. I think that um, I'm definitely going to use out the rest of my free trial. I talked to Tyrone about whether it's something that we want to move forward with it, but I do think it'll be helpful it's moving forward and elevating things and making sure we're staying on top of things. Because okay, so the last thing I wanted to tell you guys about is the team feature on this. And this is perfect for what I've been talking about. If you have a partner, if you have a business where you can have multiple people access the same documents and you you can create templates and you can share. You can designate a team administrator who you know will oversee everything. They can cre create a template to share with all the team users and do business. And you can just share your documents and have these templates and stuff ready to go for the team. Also, there's analytics and reporting that everyone can see. I've already kind of told you guys, you know, the whole team would be able to see what's completed, what's waiting on them, what's waiting on others. And that way the team and the business can be run efficiently. So I really, really like that. Obviously, you can add and remove people. And I will say this does not come in the free trial. You know, they always got to get you. It does not come in the free trial. But let's look at the pricing because I think I don't think it's unreasonable. Okay, so here is the pricing. So the pricing, like I said, I'm on the free trial. Y'all try out the free trial. And if you really, really like it, then you can go and do the document cloud. And honestly, it's it's quite affordable quarterly. $14.99. That's not that's a, what is what is that? A fast food meal and a shake? You know, so that's not too bad. And then they have a more popular one. And then for team and business, they have the same thing. So it's $14.99. So that's 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 really not that bad. I'll keep up posted on what we decide to do. Like if we keep using it after the free trial but honestly it seems like reasonable and something like this would be beneficial to our businesses and our ventures so I have to say I was pretty impressed with the Wondershare document cloud and I would definitely recommend it um at, at least try it out you guys at least try it out like I said I'm gonna leave all of the links below let me know in the comments what you thought about this video what you thought about the Wondershare document cloud how you would use it in your business or your day-to-day -day life and if you guys use any other things, any other suggestions, like I'm saying, I'm looking to level up the organization and running my life and my businesses and my ventures in 2021 because your girl needs some organization. I'm getting busier, busier by the day. So I, I am interested to know what you guys use. If you guys try this, come back and tell me. Don't forget to check out the links below. Thank you again, Wondershare Document Cloud, for sponsoring this video. If you're new here, I encourage you to go check out some of my other videos on my channels. I do a lot of videos about lawyer life, law school, personal finance, my own real estate investing journey, and just anything to kind of level up your life, guys. I am on a journey to just be as great as I can and accomplish everything that I want to accomplish and chase after my dreams. If you like this video, go ahead and subscribe to your girl. If you haven't already subscribed, what are you waiting for? Hit that like button so I know you like my content and YouTube knows you like my content and hit that notification bell so you get notified every single time I upload. I am out, you guys. Peace.